head back to an expanded universe galaxy far, far away today in Hasbro's new action figure reveals for Star Wars The Black Series. Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Thank you to Hasbro and of course Litsky PR, they sent over the new photos for their upcoming Star Wars The Black Series I would say, like, Lucasfilm 50th anniversary. There's always, like, 50 million things to say with this. But Lucasfilm 50th anniversary, expanded universe, comic book, literary novel sort of wave that they're doing, encompassing a lot of past, other than movies, source material for Star Wars The Black Series. See, I thought Lucasfilm got rid of all that stuff. <laughs> Bet you're wishing you didn't do that now. Anyways, let's get right into it. So first and foremost, we are going to be having Star Wars's Darth Maul Sith Apprentice, and he, he's shirtless. He's got the Darth Maul digs. Comes with the dual lightsabers. I'm pretty sure those will connect, right? Of course they do. And he looks good. I mean, he looks good, painted well. They always look good in these promo photos. So fingers crossed, they come out looking like they do. They're is a lot of kit bashing going on with these photos. Some of them are just straight up repaints. I wouldn't necessarily say it's exactly what we're looking for in terms of expanded universe like Dash Rendar, but I'm just saying like there's a few where I'm like, oh, girl, okay, okay, well, that's okay. So Darth Maul, yeah, he's okay. <laughs> Next up is Carnor Jax, good old traitorous Carnor Jax. He's the Imperial Guard gone rogue, basically. I don't know much about this character, in all honesty. I know him and the looks and everything else. I do know that he has black on red armor, as opposed to what we're given here, which is red on red with some black armor. So perhaps we'll be seeing a repaint later as well. Who knows? Usually with these kind of things, yeah, that's the way it goes, but... Yeah, I think people who are a fan of this particular character and have read like Crimson Empire, yeah, you should you should be in good hands, hopefully. <laughs> Star Wars Black Series Luke Skywalker. Finally, the Luke Skywalker we've always wanted. Ah, what happened to Dark Empire? That's the one. That's the Luke Skywalker I want. This is a repainted repaint of the most repainted nature, unfortunately. It's okay, you know, he comes with his accessory, which is like the little slug dragon monster thing, you know, it. it's okay. I'm glad that we got that. That looks interesting as a different accessory, but in terms of the Luke Skywalker that I'm looking for, the expanded universe and all that kind of stuff, no, not this one, but um, yeah, it he looks okay. It's just okay. It's another Luke Skywalker, to be quite honest with you. But the one, like, the one that I'm like, well, okay. You know, this kind of makes up for it, right? In terms of like, nah, nah, nah. oh, okay. Yeah, you're doing the rabbit. We're getting the Jackson figure, and he's the space rabbit. You remember him from, like, Bucky O'Hare and such cartoons, right? No. In reality, in the old Star Wars comic books, there was a bounty hunter rabbit guy dealt with Han Solo and Chewbacca and all that, and he's a green rabbit. So who copied who there? Bucky O'Hare. <laughs> of all the figures, this is the one that I'm like, all right, that's right, I'm on board. This is fantastic. So he looks good, comes with a couple pistols and such. So yeah, in all honesty... Star Wars is just not the uh, for me right now, and I'm really stoked that they're going this route, so gives me hope that maybe we will get Dash Rendar and, like, Prince Zizor and things like that. That'd be cool, like Chewbacca all bounty hunted, cyborged up, that kind of thing. Yeah, I would totally welcome those. But when can you expect these? Well, they should be available coming spring 2021, so in a few months, give or take, and they will be available exclusively at stores like Entertainment Earth and on like Hasbro Pulse, things of that nature. They're gonna retail for 25 bucks a piece. They come in a nice box, as you've seen, more like, uh, like the books that they're based on. So nice packaging overall, but I am curious to know what you guys think about these four new figures. Will you be getting them? Look for them tomorrow, depending on when you see this video. I'll have all the links in the description below for you to use and up on my Instagram, follow me at Toyshiz.
So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, and most importantly, remember Bucky O'Hare. He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare. It's not Jackson. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Thank you.